Hi, my name is Mike Sear. I'm a criminal defense DWI defense attorney in upstate New York. Today's video topic is how we as a defense attorney can use your treatment of alcoholism or drug abuse as a positive in a DWI case in New York. Now this is kind of a tricky issue because this isn't something that you as a defendant can do by yourself. You can really only use the method that I'm going to talk about if you have an attorney. This is one of those situations where it varies from court to court, from prosecutor to prosecutor, from judge to judge, and from set of facts to different set of facts. It's not going to work in every situation and it is not a cookie cutter thing that you can apply in all situations. This is something that requires judgment and experience and knowledge in dealing with this sort of thing. But I will tell you that occasionally, especially when someone has a significant problem and they're facing a significant DWI, we might be able to get their sentencing reduced at the end of a case if we've shown a prosecutor and we've shown a judge that they are committed to their sobriety. Uh, in a couple of particular circumstances, I can tell you that we once had a case in, uh, in a county surrounding Ithaca, it wasn't in, wasn't in Tompkins County, where we had a, a gentleman that had multiple DWIs, there was a car accident, he was facing serious time in prison because it was a felony case, and throughout the course of his case, I think it was an eight-month period of time, not only did he go to AA and smart recovery meetings, he also was participating in intensive outpatient treatment. He may have even done a stint of inpatient treatment. And over that course of time, we proved to the prosecutor, we proved to the judge that jail didn't make sense in his case because it would have impacted negatively his ability to get treatment. And that treatment that he was so committed to over that period, not only was it helpful to him getting treatment for his disease, but it was f helpful for him in terms of us defending the case because we were able to convince the judge that jail in that particular instance would be excessive because he was so committed to his sobriety. So that's just one example, but there are many different ways that we can use this as a defense mechanism in mitigating somebody's sentence in a DWI case in upstate New York. If you have any questions, you can give us a call, shoot us an email, or fill out the form on our website, and we'll be more than happy to talk to you about your particular situation. And thank you for watching this video.